Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another exciting broadcast of Deep Coffin in the Deep. I'm your host, Jeremy Lopez, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about the power of the supernatural. You know, we really don't think about the supernatural, do we, a whole lot. We're used to living our natural lives, basically driving our cars, going to work, living in our houses, but we never realize that we are spirits having a human experience. You know, Paul said something very, very important in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, and he said something that just blew the whole chapter away. And that was, he said, 14 years ago, he said, in the body or out of the body, I'm not too sure, but I was caught up to paradise. And when God told him some things in paradise, Paul said that when he returned back, he said, there were things that were unspeakable. There were things I couldn't utter. I couldn't even begin to put it into words, really what I saw and what I heard. Folks, I want to tell you something. We live in, an, in, in a natural world that desperately needs the kingdom of God to come down to planet Earth. We live in a world right now that desperately needs to see the supernatural manifest in their lives. Folks, we are walking miracles. We are miracles, we are signs, and we are wonders. You know, not only do we have the power to lay hands upon the sick and watch them recover, but we have the power to speak and watch something begin to formulate and create and manifest. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, which means we have the power inside of us. That same spirit, folks, that raised Jesus Christ from the dead dwells inside of us, which means we have that unlimited power. We can say we have the power of the universe in us. We have the power of our Creator in us. We have the power that that same voice that said, let there be, is the same voice that lives in us. Folks, let me tell you something. You are not natural people. You are shelled with a natural shell that you look into the mirror every day and you see. But in reality, folks, not this reality, the reality of spirit, the reality of the supernatural, the reality of something that is unlimited, something we cannot fathom, something we can't even imagine, something we can't even put into a box, something we can't even label or name. All we know is we just call it the supernatural, the spirit realm, the, the supernatural spiritual dimension, whatever you want to call it. But folks, we can't even come close to defining what it is that God has said this world, this other world that we can't see, really is. We just know there's a kingdom of God that is invisible, that God wants to make visible on the inside of us. I want to encourage you right now, be like Paul. Manifest the kingdom of God in your natural reality. Because folks, if you could only understand or comprehend the things that God says, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared for us. Which means your life, your heart, your spirit, your very soul is full of the very nature of something you can't even see. Something that science can't even figure out. Something that the doctors and, and, and the hospital machinery technology can't even fathom. They can't even see it. It doesn't even show up on the radar. And folks, guess what? The Bible says that we have an eye to see and an ear to hear. And all we have to do is tap into that. Just like you put your fingers on the keypad, tap into that source. Start typing in the spirit realm exactly what it is you want to see. Watch God do miracles through you. But before God does miracles through you, I want you to know you are a walking miracle. You are the healed of the Lord. You are the redeemed of God. You are whole. There's nothing in you that lacks. There's no power on earth that can stop you. That's why science can't even figure out the many molecules and protons and neutrons that you're even full of. And yet, folks, Jesus said, you are the light of the world. And yet, we are, it's proven that we are light slowed down into matter. And yet we look at that reality and we say, well, okay, that sounds good. Folks, if I speed you up in the natural, if I speed you up in the spirit realm, you are more than a beam of light. You're more than a candlestick. You are such an amazing illumination of God's kingdom on earth that would blind the blindest person even because you are light in the kingdom of God. And God wants to sit you upon a hill that cannot be shaken. I want to encourage you right now Take a dive in the supernatural. Take a dive right now into the unseen realm. Take a dive into something that you know in the back of your mind you've said, you know what, something tells me there's more than this. Something tells me there's something greater than what I can smell. Something tells me there's something greater than what I can feel, what I can see, what I can taste. And folks, you're right. 
there is something greater. Something that is so much more real than what you can feel. So much more real than what you can hear. So much more real than what you can see. I want to encourage you right now, manifest that thing that's in the back of your head that keeps on wooing you, that keeps on saying, you know what, there's something here, there's something I'm not getting, there's something I'm not seeing. Folks, listen to the inner voice. The Holy Spirit is beckoning you to come forward. The Holy Spirit is beckoning you. Listen to the, to the, to the eye of the God. Listen to the ear of God. Look through the eye of God that no ear, no ear has ever heard before in the natural. You have an inner ear and an inner eye. You have the Spirit of God living in you. When we say inner eye, folks, that means that's the eyes of God. You have them in you to see and hear. And you know you're like me. You know there's more out there. You know, I believe we were born. We were born into this world with this, uh, this, this amazing mechanism in us that says, this is great what we see, but when I get by myself, there's something that begins to tangibly happened, something in the back of my mind, something in the back of my spirit that just lets me know there's something else here. There's someone else here. There's something else going on in my atmosphere. Have you ever been quiet for a moment and as you're really still, all of a sudden it's like you can hear this loud noise that it's so deafening, but yet it's so silent? Have you ever been still and just felt for a moment there is someone around me. There's something filling this place. There's, there's someone touching me. There's something filling this room that I know is real. And how many of you have ever thought, man, I'm never telling a single, po- single solitary person. They don't think I'm crazy. Folks, listen to me. You have what Paul had. You had that same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead dwelling in you. Eternity is in you, and you are in eternity. The universe is in you, and yet you are in the universe. God is in you, and yet you are in God. There's more to you, folks. Tap into that source of meditation. Tap into that source of relaxing in the presence of God and meditating upon the things that you know in the back of your mind is right there. And watch God begin to open up the rims and the portals of heaven and begin to pour down upon you blessings that there's no room enough for you to contain. Folks, there's more than what you're seeing right now. And you know what I'm saying is real. I want to encourage you right now. I want to challenge you right now. Go to my website for a moment identitynetwork.net. We have an amazing, powerful school that I know for a fact you would like. It's actually called the School of Thought, Visualization, and Imagination. Now you're like, hold on a minute. What's this thought and what's this visualization and this this imagination stuff? That sounds sort of new agey. Folks, come on. Let's, let's grow up past being a child, can we? Let's, let's realize God ordained words, folks. If, if something is is of a religion that you don't like, then folks, guess what? You empowered it. Nobody else did. You empowered it. Isn't it sound a little small and narrow-minded? You have got to realize God is the God of how we think. Hello, thought. God is the God of our imagination. He speaks in our dream realm. Hello, imagination. And God is the God that causes us to see things beyond the natural. That's called visualization. It means get the visual of God over your life. That's all it means. Get the visual of God for yourself. See how God sees you. See how God sees outside of yourself. Learn about the perception of God, which means God doesn't really perceive anything because God's God. He doesn't need to perceive anything. But yet there's a side of God that God is saying, shift your paradigm, shift your perception, get into the mind of Christ and think like God and see like God and hear like God. The greatest thing we can ever do is to think and be God on earth to where thy kingdom has come, thy will is done, and we are manifesting the supernatural to where the people of this world is seeing with their own natural eyes the signs and wonders and miracles of an almighty God, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. I want to encourage you right now, go to our website, identitynetwork.net. I want you to go and I want you to download the School of Thought, Visualization, and Imagination. I'll teach you how to think like the mind of Christ. I will teach you how to see like God sees. I'll teach you how to have the mind and the imagination that God wanted you to have from the very beginning, before you were ever in your mother's womb. God has ordained you folks to see into the supernatural, to think supernatural things, to hear supernatural things. I'm gonna teach you how to do it. Go to my website, download the School of Thought, Visualization, and Imagination today. Let me show you biblically how God has appointed you and set you up to move on earth, to bring down heaven to planet earth. God bless you and have a great day.